Thank you, Chairperson. Uh, I am Hirik Manuel from NTT Docomo, and I will talk about capacitive touch sensing technique with series connected sensing electrodes. Currently, touch is the major input modalities. Uh, for example, PCs and smartphones uh, accept touch input via uh, a touchpad or touch panels. The users can input wide variety of meanings through touch input. For example, uh, simply on and off, merge touches and gestures. There are also several advantages to use touch input from mechanical aspects. For example, touch sensors can be implemented in small and thin form factors. And they have no movable elements and work with low power consumption. Considering these merits of touch, sense, touch input, uh, they would be uh, used much more, uh, especially with uh, personal fabricated devices. When prototyping touch-based devices, trial and error iterations are needed. In such phases, uh, touch sensors have to be attached on any surfaces. And the sensor configuration has to be easily changed. In other words, uh, adaptability and flexibility are important. It is also desired to implement easily and cheaply. This is an example. A maker wants to embed uh, touch sensing capability on, uh, on eyeglasses like Google Glass. There are many candidates for example, electrode position, shape, size, and the number of the electrodes are different. The optical, optimal uh, electrode configuration uh, depends on what the maker wants to detect. And he will perform trial and error to uh, tune the sensor configuration. There are uh, many techniques uh, to uh, detect touch by, uh, by uh, electric-based techniques. For example, a technique based on time domain reflectometry can detect the touch point on wire. Touche is a single touch sensor, but recognizes hand posture. Makey Makey can change various objects into touch sensors. Cutable uh, mass touch sensors can easily change its out of home shape. Sensor tape is a tape shaped uh, sensor arrays. Electric can implement touch capability on various objects by attaching uh, many electrodes. Unlike these uh, smart techniques, there are uh, basic and traditional configurations to support multiple sensors. Example one shows that the electrode has a different wire to connect to the sensing circuit. Period plus technique and matrix technique can reduce the number of wires. Example four shows the touch-based slider. It compares two capacitors to uh, formed with the finger. Example five shows the resistive touch sensors. Half of electrodes are series connected via resistors, and three wires are needed to connect to the sensing circuit. Priority switching technique allows to exactly determine which electrode is touched. The electrodes have to be designed as the user, the finger, is, finger always touches the pair of electrodes. Example six is root cap. The electrodes are parallel uh, connected via capacitors and only a single wire is needed. It detects the touch electrode by the absolute, of, absolute value of capacitance. Unfortunately, uh, it is easily affected by the environment. 
our technique is inspired by uh, example four and five. Its features include two wires to connect to the sensing circuit, comparing a pair of capacitances, series connected electrodes, and priority switching techniques. This is our proposed technique. The electrodes are connected in series uh, via capacitors. And the electrodes are connected to the sensing circuit by two wires. The sensing circuit is almost the same as regular one, but except uh, the switch. The switch controls the polarity, and two capacitors are measured. There are many unknown parameters such as CE and CG. So, the, the measured, so from the measured capacitances, it is impossible to determine the ex exactly the touched electrode. So, the measured capacitance is uh, are measure, uh, are compared with the reference one captured in calibration phase. There are several assumptions to work properly. For example, CI and CH is larger than CE, and CG is large enough. Our technique brings uh, adaptability and flexibility. Shape, size, placement of electrodes and touch position within an electrode have little limitation. The, the touch sensor can be put on any surfaces, such as narrow and uh, curved surfaces. It is easy to change the number of electrodes by rewiring and recalibration. Thanks to priority switching technique, our technique has much touch capability by two fingers. It is easy to implement because of simple wiring and simple circuit. And we can create capacitance by sandwiching dielectric material with two conductive materials. We call it capacitor-free design. These are electrode examples that emphasize our technique. The left figure shows wire and slim electrodes. For example, wire electrode prototype one simply connects axial lead capacitors with uh, metal pipes. The leads and pipes work as touch sensors. Wire electrode prototype two is made by single core cable and conductive mesh horses. The mesh horses work uh, touch sensors. The slim electrode prototype was made on a PCB. It has 10 electrodes on a narrow PCB with width of three millimeter. The right figure shows uh, flexible electrodes. We applied uh, capacitor-free capacitor design to paper, pro paper electrode prototype. It was made by just paper and conductive tape. It is interesting that only touch Touch sensors are put on the surface, and connecting elements are on the back side. When a thin insulating film is used, smaller electrodes are possible, like flexible electrodes prototype two. When much smaller electrodes are needed, uh, FPC and capacitors are, can be used, like flexible electrode prototype one. I explain how our technique works. This figure illustrates the situation when no finger touches. The red line represents the current flow. The total capacitance measured from the circuit is small. In case that CI and CT are 300 picofarad, CE is 5 picofarad, the total capacitance is calculated as uh, 28 picofarad. Even when the switch changes the polarity, the total capacitance does not change. This figure illustrates the situation when the finger touches electrode. 
the left path is selected. That means the touched electrode is near the circuit. Assuming CH is 300 picofarad, the total capacitance is uh, 78 picofarad. After a while, the switch changes the polarity. This figure illustrates the situation after the polarity is changed. The total capacitance is calculated as 43 picofarad, uh, which is uh, larger than uh, no touches and smaller than uh, other polarity. So when the finger touches the electrode, the total capacitance increases. But uh, the pair of capacitances differs according to the touched electrode. We had a simulation. This, figure, this graph shows the result when 10 electrodes are used with three different capacitors. The capacitance is measured as duty cycle in the circuit. So X axis and Y axis represents the duty cycle. The pair of capacitances differs, differs according to the touched electrode. The value of CI uh, affects the trace, but wide range of CI is acceptable. So the selection of CI is not severe. The prototypes were developed. The circuit is assumed to connect to the AC powered laptop or AC adapter to establish the coupling to ground. This is the measured result. The left graph shows the actually measured result, and the right graph shows the corresponding simulation result. The measured result is almost the same as the simulation result, and it is confirmed that the pair of capacitances differ according to the touched electrode. This graph shows the impact of the number of electrodes. The trend of measured result is almost the same as simulation result. As you see, it becomes difficult to re recognize the touched electrode properly when the number of electrodes is become larger. So pr practical range seems up to 10 electrodes. This graph shows the multi-touch capability. Black is single touch, and red is multi-touch by two fingers. These, these touches yield different plots. That means our technique has multi-touch capability. Unfortunately, the simulation result indicates that multi-touch with three fingers overlapped on the other plots. So much such capability is limited uh, up to two fingers. User test was conducted with 10 people. 10, 15, 20 electrodes were used in test one, two, three. Test four used four electrodes and 10 uh, touch classes were recognized, including single touch and much touch by two fingers. Test five used paper-based electrodes, and test six used flexible electrodes on smartphone. The user with lower or higher accuracy in test one also shows lower or higher accuracy in other tests. From test one to test six, the calibration was conducted by one particular person who did not participate in these tests. The test zero is the same as test one, except the calibration. In test zero, the calibration was conducted by the test user himself. So comparing test zero and test one, the user calibration is quite effective to improve the accuracy. This means that there are some differences among users in terms of capacitance. 
Test five indicates that capacitor free design actually works. And test six indicates that connecting to AC power is not always necessary when it is applied to handheld devices. We think our technique is effective in prototyping phase. And to explore uh, the design space, we developed several application examples. This is demo movie. This is a simple 10 electrodes. And this is a multi touch capability, single touch, and multi touch by two fingers. We applied uh, capacitor free design on this interac interactive book. This block building example includes rewiring and recalibration processes. And this is calibration process. And this example is smartphone based. And finally, this is a wire based example. Our technique have has several limitations such as calibration is needed in advance. However, we believe that our technique is effective in prototyping phase because adaptability and flexibility is much more important rather than these limitations. And it is possible to apply more robust technique after tuning the sensor configurations. Thank you very much. So if you have questions, I invite you to uh, come up. Um, in the meantime, I have one uh, relating to the calibration. Um, so you had quite a big difference whether it was calibrated individually versus um, ones for all the users. Yes. It, would there, is there a way to improve that calibration so that you can still do it once, but it would work for all of, uh, um, all of the users that sort of you, if you improve the way you're calibrating at the moment? Uh, you mean uh, alternative technique to not use uh, calibration by individual users? Mm -hmm. uh, I think there is a possibility to estimate the, uh, the pair of capacitance is according to the uh, actually actual touched electrode, uh, actually touched uh, touched. So. Uh, when the different user touches the electrode, uh, uh, some uh, pair of capacitance can be measured. So using this information, uh, the, the system can be update the calibration. Sorry, the, the, the end of your talk.